Oh hi, I saw a quote that said, if you're tired, rest, don't quit. And I loved it because even though it wasn't aimed at the chronically ill person, I feel like it's what I've been doing for the past 10 years that I've been sick. And it can be on a big scale. For example, it could be to do with your whole life. Say if you're bed bound and you can't, bedridden, can't do anything, as in, like you can't even go on your phone, that situation, which I've been in, where you're just like, can't move, can't, can't do anything. When I was in that state, I could hear, that was the only like sense I had left. Um, and even then, I kind of thought to myself, well, it's not over until it's over, because maybe this can change, and I'm not going to make any, like, it would be easy in that state for me to say to myself, oh my god, I'm never going to we'll say big things. I'm never going to work. I'm never going to, I don't know, be able to dress myself again. It would be easy for me to say to myself, I'm never going to do like big things again. The main one actually was um, <laughs> where I couldn't leave my bed. I was thinking to myself, how am I ever going to leave my town? And people knew me as the girl that didn't leave her town. Like I kind of got known for that. Like people would talk about me like, so, for example, my brother, if he'd have a new girlfriend, they would ask about me and they'd be like, oh, no, she can't leave the town because, like, even on her best day, she can't get more than, like, three minutes outside of her town that she lives. Like, her best day is, like, three minutes long, so she can't get outside her town. Um, It would be easy for me to say to myself, well, you know, this is it for the rest of my life. But the truth is, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. The point of, like, rest, don't quit, is that you just appreciate the moment for what it is and you don't think too far ahead. You don't count yourself out of the game of, for me, my biggest goal was leaving my town, which we have seen on my channel, I've now done. And I had to adapt to do that. I did it by either someone's house being in the area so that I could lie down there, or booking a hotel in the area, even if we were only going. One that I'm actually thinking of, my friend got married. I think it was half an hour away from me. I needed a hotel in the area to be able to make it to the wedding. But it doesn't matter because I still did it. And I didn't quit. I just rested at the hotel and I went to the wedding. And I didn't go to the ceremony. I didn't go to, I don't know, what parts of the day. I only went to the evening. But still, I didn't quit. I just rested until I made it there. Here's a little compilation from the wedding for you to enjoy of um, everything that I'm comfortable sharing here. I thought I looked really beautiful. I hope you agree. Um, yeah, just let me know how you'd rate how I looked on this day. Because, yeah, I just think stunning. And that's what, for me, I think that's what chronic illness is all about. And I have to remind myself that. Right now, I'm meant to be working on a really important job. This thing is going to be published in the world. It's going to be a big, big it's a, yeah, it's a big deal. Like, I should be working on this really, I should be working at a really high standard right now. And instead, I'm, like, I'm on the edge of a decline. Like, I can tell I'm going to decline very soon to the, to the point where I won't be able to do anything but hear. I won't be able to lift my hand or open my eyes and like it's easy for me now to say to myself oh my god what have I got myself in for I can feel like even my voice it's really an effort to keep my voice steady right now my my voice is like <laughs> wavering because I don't know that's like I'd, I feel really unwell right now you won't be able to tell because yeah you just won't be able to tell on this occasion, things actually progressed to the point that an ambulance had to be called um, and I had to be stabilised. But later in the video, I do touch on that as well. Not the ambulance, but I touch on how even when you can't quit and you can't rest, kind of what you can do instead and the mindset that helps me. Oh my gosh, have I had a, uh, a double chin this whole time? I have a double chin, so it's not like it's a problem. I just like to hide it. <laughs> uh yeah, so in this situation, it'd be very easy for me to say, oh my gosh, what have I got myself in for? I can't do this. I shouldn't have done this. But I'm just trying to remind myself, no, 
rest, don't quit. And it can apply to anything. If I'd have done this video with the notes, because I was going to make notes for this, I had loads of things this could apply to. Just, just remembered one. So I had a carer for some hours a week. I'm not even going to go into like the details of that. But I had a carer for some hours a week and I was in the process of recruiting for another one because I didn't have all of my care hours filled in the recruitment process, which was already like tiring me out and draining me. Um, my existing carer had a life changing emergency, which meant she couldn't do the work anymore. And <laughs> I was so close to being like, oh my god I can't do this I did I put up a couple of um a post in this like carer group saying like oh my gosh I feel like I'm at breaking point and I was just thinking to myself I don't know what to do because like I've been in interviewing these carers and like all sorts of weird, weird stuff was going on in these interviews like every single applicant had lied on their CV there was one who said she was a carer but actually she was a gardener and her car was a tractor and um like all sorts of things were going on I was thinking do you know what I'm just going to give in and quit but actually that won't help me and I've been thinking what I might do as a way forward is just pay out of pocket for a carer for the bare minimum hours that I need um and use that time to rest and then when I'm better tackle it again and go for the actual carer interviews um i'll talk a little bit about how the carer system works here so i'm using the system which i pay a contribution towards so it's assessed it's like a pretty grueling process they assess your care needs and then you're awarded the hours and you pay a contribution to that at a set amount um and it just means that you kind of pay a fraction of what it would cost overall um but I have to, I have to like find and employ the people myself. I'm just not well enough to do it. And uh, no, this isn't going to work holding it like this. Oh my gosh, that hurts so badly then. As I'm editing this, I've seen that my job ads come to a close. This is how much that cost, which I had to pay out of pocket. I went through about 40 CVs, maybe like, I don't know, 10 interviews and didn't end up finding someone like that's the state that the care system is in and the criteria that they had to have is what made it unsuccessful. I was just thinking, I just can't do it. Like, I just cannot keep everything up. So I was just thinking, what can I do? I can't quit because this situation is just going to snowball and snowball and get worse. I know that I can't, I'm not at a point I can maintain my life on my own anymore. I haven't been for a long time, like since 2021. And even then, I, I, it's because I wasn't on my own then. I had like four or five people acting as my carers at university. Um, and before then, I had several people who, you know, were acting as, as my carers then as well. So, yeah, I can't quit in this stage. But I'm just like, I guess... The reason I wanted to include this was because I know there's situations where people will be like, I can't rest. Like, that's the problem. I can't quit and I can't rest. And I'm like, I see you. I feel you. And I am in your shoes in some ways. Like, with this hiring carers thing, I can't quit and I can't rest, really, because I have to find someone with the important job that I'm doing like I've agreed to it and I'm in it now like so I can't quit and I can't rest there either but sometimes it's about like not thinking too far ahead having these little micro rests where you can just being mindful of where they are right now like I could class this as as a rest from the job um it doesn't feel like it sorry I got cut off so I'll wrap this up I was saying like right now um, me and my friend have this saying where we say it's not resting, it's suffering because that's how it feels for us. Like, I actually feel like I've perked up a little more now than I was at the end of that video that I took. I look like I'm in the same position, but I'm not. That was a while ago now. Yeah, so 
I think, like, give yourself the grace to know that, like, you are suffering. What even is my point? I don't know what my point is right now. Me and my friend have this thing where we don't like it when people are like, oh, like, enjoy your rest. And we're like, no, we're not resting, we're suffering. But the purpose of the video was to say that I am noticing the moments of rest. And, like, even if it's moments where, like, I have no choice, I'm still, like, appreciating them for what they are. Um, And even if it's, like, only a few moments where... I felt slightly better, I wasn't doing as much, I'm like appreciating that moment for what it was and if there's something that I feel like oh my god I can't do this but there's no other way, I'm trying to see it as can I take any time out, can I prolong this by any means, can I revisit this, you know trying to find another way and the thing is calling it resting is kind of a mindset, I think that's what I wanted to get at is that I don't feel rested. I feel like I'm suffering. Like, that's how my life feels at the moment. I don't know if it will continue to, but that's how it's been for a very long time. Um, I'm hoping to get some, like, when, like, the carers are in place, I'm hoping to feel that a little bit better. Like, I know I'll still suffer from my illnesses, but I'm hoping I won't, like, suffer from exertion quite as much. Um, so this rest don't quit is actually more of a mindset for me is something that makes me feel better about the situation and I'm sharing it in case this mindset helps you even if it can't be used in a literal sense even if you can't rest I just hope the mindset of rest will helpful I don't I don't know will be helpful I don't know if that makes sense uh but for me it does and like yeah for me for some reason it does and just seeing things that's like okay can this be prolonged revisited or like can I just push through and rest after or I don't know I've just been telling myself in like all sorts of scenarios rest don't quit so I hope this can help you in some way and I'm sorry if it doesn't if it wasn't helpful then I hope I've at least kept you company for the last what 12 minutes so yeah thanks for watching see you next week